wonder what causes a thump thump sound of your heartbeat? Believe it or not, it's all to do with the valves we learnt about in these videos. The valves work together as partners, ensuring that oxygenated blood is delivered throughout your whole body. After all, isn't this the whole point of having a heart? The sound of your heart beating can be attributed to your valves closing and always in specific pairs. So a quick recap. Separating the atria from the ventricles are the tricuspid and bicuspid valves. The pulmonary valve and the aortic valve ensure that deoxygenated blood and oxygenated blood leave the heart entirely without any backflow. This beautiful system sees that both the tricuspid and bicuspid valve are closed when the ventricles, both left and right, contract. This contraction forces blood out of the heart through the pulmonary arteries and aorta. In fact, the first thump that you feel is the sound of the tricuspid and bicuspid valves closing simultaneously. So during systole, the first half of your heartbeat, the tricuspid and bicuspid valves are closed, but the pulmonary and aortic valves are open. Once the ventricles relax, the pulmonary and aortic valves close, causing the second thump of your heartbeat. When the pulmonary and aortic valves are closed, the tricuspid and bicuspid valves automatically open. During diastole, as this period is called, both oxygenated and deoxygenated blood fills into the heart. So how many times does your heart do this in a minute? The average heart rate for a young adult varies depending on age, physical size, genetics and activity. Usually it's in the range of 60 to 100 heartbeats per minute. The fitter you are, the lower your resting heart rate is likely to be. An athlete may have a resting heart rate closer to 40 beats a minute. After each heartbeat, a pressure wave passes along your arteries, which causes the arterial walls to bulge and then contract. These pulses, as they are called, can be felt at various points throughout your body. If you take the index and middle finger of your right hand and place them on the inside of your left wrist, leading to your thumb, you can feel a pulse. A strong pulse can also be felt at the top of your neck. Although you cannot quantitatively measure the force of your pulse, you can do so for the overall force exerted against the arterial walls by your blood. This is called blood pressure. Usually your blood pressure is given as two numbers like this. These numbers represent the forces exerted during systole and diastole, known as systolic pressure and diastolic pressure. The systolic pressure is quoted before the diastolic pressure. Should you wish to learn more about blood pressure and what happens when it's too low or too high, watch this video. So there you have your heartbeat and pulse. It's all to do with valves opening and closing. 